Well, I finally got Bobby to take a break. I promised I'd stay abreast of Lucas's situation. I know. I have a reputation for being gruff. <laughs> but Dr. Jones is one of our own. Oh, I know. I have... I know Bobby forever and Lucas since he was born. And it must be doubly hard for you as well, being the new chief of staff. Your appointment was a foolish and costly mistake for both General Hospital and Dr. Jones. If I was still in charge, this never would have happened to Dr. Jones, because I would have made sure the maniac who tried to kill him would already be behind bars. See. What in the world are you talking about, Liesl? Sending someone to jail? I'm referring to Dr. Finn, Monica's disastrous new hire. You have been on a witch hunt against Dr. Finn since the day he arrived. Someone has to speak the truth, since you're so determined to ignore it. Your negligence does nothing to keep our patients and staff safe, and it does lasting damage to the hospital's reputation. Monica is an extremely effective COS. She has done more to motivate the staff and promote cooperation between the various departments in three weeks than you have in three years. All the while letting a killer run free. If there is a killer, and it's a big if, I highly doubt it's Dr. Finn. He has a sterling reputation. He's been published in all the major journals. It was a huge coup to get him on staff at General Hospital. And all the credit goes to Monica. Thank you, Dr. Mays. You're welcome. Your spirited defense of Dr. Quartermain ignores the fact that Dr. Finn had two patients die of cardiac failure under suspicious circumstances. They weren't suspicious at they all. Didn't, Both of those I can't patients watch General Hospital anymore. I can't do it. No I want to watch something. We should have insisted that autopsies be performed. We have been over this. Mr. Ellis's family refused for religious reasons. Yes. And the so-called standard autopsy on Mrs. Jenkins showed nothing unusual. In other words, you heard what you wanted and let the matter drop. And now Lucas Jones may pay for your indifference with his life. It appears Dr. Jones was injected with Derisoflaw. Do you think that others were too? I think detailed autopsies of Mr. Ellis and Mrs. Jenkins would eliminate the need for conjecture and speculation. We must assemble facts, however distressing we may find them. To that end, I contacted Dr. Finn's previous hospital in Minnesota. He left under puzzling circumstances. And there were rumors of him being a drug addict. Really? Because I've heard rumors you used to be a man. Don't be upset. I'll stop when you stop, Liesl. Now, I am making all the investigations, and all you are doing is throwing accusations without any proof whatsoever. It's time for you to forget about your pathetic internal investigation and turn the whole matter entirely over to the police. With all due respect. I am sure you are aware the police have been notified, and the internal investigation is going to continue. Did you advise the police? That Lucas Jones is the third victim? That there are two other unsolved murders? Well, that's only in your head. I thought not. I have to advise them myself. Don't you dare. I have not been Give me back my phone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Liesl, you are way out of line here. And if I'm called as a witness, I'll recommend you be fired for insubordination. You have no proof of any of your suspicions. You're just trying to make Monica look bad. You disappoint me, Dr. Mays. Are you sucking up to the new chief of staff? Or is there some kind of inappropriate relationship going on between the two of you? What? We are colleagues, and that's it. The one with the inappropriate behavior is you, Liesl, with your wild speculation and accusations. I'll just wait until the next time the board convenes. I'll be there with proof of your glaring incompetence. Do you really think you can help Lucas? I might. What is this, Dr. Finn? Dr. Finn thinks he can bring Lucas out of the coma. Well, Dr. Finn isn't treating your brother. I am. And I'll thank you not to interfere with my case.
Just because you got lucky with Tracy Quarterman. I'm not sure if curing someone from a rare, virtually undetectable disease is lucky, but thank you. As grateful as I am for what you did for my sister-in-law, Dr. Mays is right. We can't have doctors second-guessing other doctors' work. That would be chaos. The point here is to help Lucas, and if Dr. Fenn can do it, he should. Yeah, Carly, I appreciate your concern, but this is about hospital policy, and quite frankly, your remarks are not helpful. Here, take a look. Just... Take a look. There are many studies about non-traditional, non-Western medications that I believe will counteract the drisophol in Lucas' system and bring him out of this coma. But just look at this. You want to give my patient some non-FDA-approved experimental drug? Not on my watch. Yeah, I'm afraid that we cannot authorize anything that is not within normal parameters. Should saving the patient be more important than following some archaic rules? <sighs> oh, please. Do I have to spell it up to you? Dr. Finn is suggesting this so-called cure, so we can finish the job he started. This time he'll make sure he kills Lucas. 